All right, so now we're up to split close. This is another formation that we use heavily because we have the ability to flood both man and zone. So we're going to come out with man first. So the plays we are going to use are going to be close halfback wheel, fullback inside, the slip screen, and PAF slide. So with the main play is going to be the halfback wheel. And this way, we essentially have two things we like to do. Um, we like to motion fade and motion this guy to the outside. And then we're essentially just hitting running back, corner, pretty much whoever, you know, floods on that side of the field. Now, if they're not pressing, like in this case, they're simply not pressed. On the outside, it's not going to be that good. But the main setup is fade X, curl, triangle or fade, circle, curl, triangle. It'll look just like this. Because if they're in man, you have the bomb right. You have the ability to playmaker that curl to the inside right. You also have the corner route that should get decent separation. Um, now, the main setup I use if they're in man, however, is I like to curl, triangle, and then put circle on a comeback. Motion them across to the left. And then you just have flood everywhere. I mean, if they're in man coverage, they're getting absolutely torched. Um, just once again, you're just going to curl. Curls triangle. You're going to motion brown to the left. Put him on a comeback. Hike right here. As soon as he cuts up, you have a huge gain. I mean, you're just. The, we'll go show the instant replay. I'm over here stuttering because it's so damn effective. Um, but you'll see, you got running back to the right. You got post. If we wanted to, we could playmaker that curl to the right. And then you also have the corner route breaking open. Like, everything is just perfect separation like they can't guard everything um, and no matter what they do with their safeties they're not going to be able to guard everything so say they are putting their safety into a flat to mimic it I'm going to just change it I'm going to come out like a cover one if I can find one so let's see we're coming out in the same formation we'll come out in a cover No, no, Mike Dime Blitz. So, if we see this and say they don't have a safety deep, they're trying to take away our comeback, put him on a fade. As soon as he sets, hike the ball, and you should be able to um, bomb him. If for whatever reason you can't, like I couldn't right there, you still have everything open. I mean, it's just a phenomenal play that kills man coverage. And if in, if they're in zone, we simply do this concept, and they're absolutely popped. So, I mean, see, we're just picking and choosing. I mean, everybody's open. It all depends when we want to throw it. So, the addition, once again, to run the fullback inside with a receiver. You can get some really good speed guys there. Um... So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So I mean, once again, you fade this guy, curl. That's one setup. I mean, just everybody's everybody's gonna be open. There's no hope for their defense in man coverage. In zone, they essentially have to play the guys on the right. When you motion this out, it but it's still very difficult to play the flood on the right. Um, in any sort of a zone, and then also be able to stop the stuff over the middle, the post and the curl. So, we're going to get out of man coverage. We're going to show it real quick for zone. Cover 2 is probably one of the main things that um, gets popped the most outside of man. 
And that's just because everything's going to beat it. You got the corner streak combination on the right. You got a post route. Um, and then if they drop back with that, you got the curl underneath to the running back. Uh, it's just it's a hell play. Now, cover four will do a decent job of stopping it um, just because that post becomes useless. Now, with that being said, what you can do, instead of motioning that guy out there to the right, you can drag, circle, curl, X, and then motion the fullback or the running back and put him on a streak. This is going to give you the ability to bomb a cover four defense, as you see here. Well, I was a bit too close. I didn't have time for him to run with the uh, running back. So we'll go ahead and we'll try it again from a bit farther. Once again, we're curl, drag, and then you could really do whatever you want. You could streak this guy and motion him to the outside say you want to you know still give the illusion you're running fullback inside um, but you'll see wide open um, easy bomb against cover four defense so once again say you want to give the illusion that you're running the slip screen which we also run you could set it up like this. Now in this case you see that the it's going to bomb to the running back that we motion. Go ahead and I'll show it to you again. So in this case if I can get a little bit of time, well, no, it's still bombed to him. But the safety follows him. He, he dumbed out right there, but he actually does follow that guy, which allows us to bomb to the guy that's in the backfield. So you'll see, in this case, the safety follows the post, leaving this guy wide open for the touchdown. So if your opponent, say they're taking a linebacker and, you know, they're dropping back dumb far to try to pick off the post, which a lot of people will do, uh, now you're just going to be able to make that one little adjustment and still bomb them. So that will work against it's everything but a cover two. If they're in a cover three, that same motion will get open. So once again, going back to it, curl, drag, you could streak whoever you want. We'll streak this guy. This is going to bomb to the post. I rushed the throw right there, but he was open. And, I mean, if they're running back dumb far to play it, just throw the drag. I mean, play smart, move the chains. We'll go ahead. All of the, Like I said, all of these setups pretty much beat everything. You just kind of got to know when to throw it. Well, have to throw the drag there since the post didn't, uh, or the streak didn't register. But... That's enough of that play. Moving along, we utilize the slip screen. Slip screens are very deadly. Um, and with this play, you can utilize whatever motion you want. My favorite is to motion circle across just to give us that added blocker. Um, a lot of people, if, spe if they see man, or you know, if they've been running a lot of man, Slip screens don't really work all that well against man. However, when you motion this guy, uh, R1 tends to be wide open. But man coverage, flat, it doesn't really matter. You'll have the ability to really crib shot that screen. Now, say you don't want to utilize just that motion. You could motion this guy to the left. 
you could motion circle to the right. I mean, because predominantly you're chucking the ball to the screen. That's the whole purpose of the play. Um, so you just utilize these motions to really annoy your opponent. You can motion this guy across. So, I mean, pretty much, like I said, it's a dumb it downs type of play. But when you start utilizing the motions, it's really going to not allow your opponent to know a screen is coming. PAF slide. Now this play, I predominantly only use versus man coverage, and it only has one purpose for me. So I'm going to go ahead and I will show that. If my opponent is in man coverage, I like to run this play, block, triangle, in route, the running back on the right, and then you can either streak or slant, or excuse me, yeah, you need to, if you're going to put R1 on a curl, you need to streak square. If you leave it normal, like say you leave R1's route normal, you could slant square. But what we're doing is we're going to motion X across, and then as soon as he kind of gets there, we're going to hike, and we're essentially just hitting the guy, whoever we want, because all of them will be open at a certain point. So once again, we're just going to block triangle, slant receiver on the left, as soon as he gets across, hike, and now we've got the motioned corner out concept. So between between those, um, the only other adjustment I like to make is to, especially versus man, is I like to wheel route the running back and motion him to the right. And it just is going to give us more man beaters, so to speak. I mean, all routes, all crossing routes should beat man. The wheel route to the running back does a solid job as well. So seldom used play right there. I don't use it very much, probably once or twice a game, if that. Uh, my main plays are fullback inside, close halfback wheel, and the slip screen. So that is it for the gun split close.